currently 1245, about to head to an Easter brunch with the family and then head over to the Mulholland Snake to film some footage. Can't wait, I'm itching to get out there. Pat Notaro just managed to get me a camera stabilizer for my GH4 so I can get some nice smooth painting shots of the snakes and bikes, you know, all that cool stuff. And uh, can't wait to try it. Just made it to the snake. There's already some cops here. There looked like there was an accident. Hopefully nothing too bad because I wanted to get some good footage, but since there's so many cops here. Um, today I'm shooting with the three axis gimbal, thanks to Pat Notaro. It's made by, as far as I know, it's by TRD or Icon, the DS1 series. And I'm gonna try to balance it real quick. Turn this on. It's currently in follow mode. So now it's going to stay left and right. Just gonna, the camera's going to be locked. So now you can see that it's still tilted a little bit, so I got to redo a little bit of the balancing. But other than that, we're ready to go. So just spotted somebody pretty cool up at the snake. He's somewhat of a regular. We got Jay Leno up in the house. Just saw a really cool car and he stepped out. So we'll see, see if we can get some footage of him and his awesome ride. The amount of times that I've actually come to the snake, I've never met Jay Leno in person. So that was pretty rad to be able to see him and uh, he waved to the camera, you know, just as a really nice guy. He's got an awesome garage. I'll link his, uh, I'll link his YouTube channel in the description if you want to check out more of his rides. Uh -huh. You're going, <laughs> got you that time. Since I've arrived, there's already been three crashes. It always sort of casts a very negative and sad feeling for the snake. And when I pulled up, I could tell that everything was a little bit uneasy. You always gotta be careful with what you film because sometimes those crashes can really be a personal thing and posting something very personal can sometimes be emotional and too much for the rider to handle. The only downside to shooting these angles is that I don't have a zoom lens. I'm using a wide angle lens that Pat Notaro let me borrow for the weekend so I can't really zoom in as far as I'd like to, especially in the main J-turn of the snake. do mini races out on the snake, keeps the competition alive. Once again, heading down to the lower part of the snake so I can get some extra angles. To improve that production value. It's pretty warm out. I'd wear my hat forward to protect my eyes from the sun, but otherwise you guys can't see my face and it's just dark blob. 
Bindi's in heels right now because we just got back from the Easter brunch. She's struggling. I brought my hiking boots. She wasn't originally supposed to come with me to the snake because she was going to go go home back to USC. This is where I can use the wide angle lens to my advantage. I got a lot more room to film in. opinions on this car. I'm Eric. Nice, to meet, nice to meet you. I want to get the shot right about here. So are you able to do that here? Or do it's you want kind of a, not a very tight corner. Right. The corner up there. The thing is I want to be in the shot too. Big thank you to Eric. He's on the black motorcycle and in the video thumbnail for helping me out and uh, just working with me to get the best possible shot. You'll see the photo up on my Instagram sometime soon. Thank you again, Eric. Great riding. I was running to try and get a shot of some uh, bikers doing some stunts up at the main lookout, but I missed it and uh, there was too much traffic so they had to stop. Sometimes you don't get the shot that you're looking for.